Hi, this is James from Square Internet, and in this video I'm going to be showing you how to set a home page for your WordPress website. The first thing that we need to do is go over into the dashboard. So I'm already logged in to the back end of my WordPress website. I've got a clean installation of WordPress installed. It's running WordPress version 4.94 with the Beans WordPress framework. So to set a page as the home page of your website rather than the default post content, the blog posts or the content that your theme is displaying by default. And to just illustrate that, if I open up my home page currently, it's saying whoops, no result found. What it's trying to display here is a list of the blog posts on this WordPress website. Because there aren't any blog posts, it's just saying whoops, no result found. So, just to illustrate this further, if I was to create a post really quickly, new post, this is my post. Once I publish this, my home page will be displaying this post. Yeah, there you go. So, I'm going to show you how to change what's displayed as the home page for your WordPress website. And to do this, we need to come down to settings in the navigation menu here. And then we need to go to the reading submenu. And as you can see, we've got reading settings and beneath that it says your home page displays. Currently it's set to your latest posts and then beneath that there's an option for a static page. So you need to click this static page option and then you need to select the page that you'd like to display as your home page. And so I want to display a blank page that I set up quickly earlier. I'm going to click Save Changes. Now when I refresh my home page, the blog section will have disappeared, this section will have disappeared, and I'm just going to be seeing a blank section across the main content here. There you go, so that's worked successfully. So as we can see, I'm now displaying a blank page as my home page. Just to show you in the pages section, um, yeah, this page now is listed as front page. Helpful label there for you. And if we were to just view the contents of this page, it's identical to when I type in the square dev domain dot info URL to the navigation bar there. So nice and easy. Settings, reading, set a static page, select the page you want to display. And then as you're now changing your home page from being the default page for your blog posts, it might be worth selecting a default page for your posts. And you can do that just by creating a blank page and then selecting the blank page here. Your post will then display on the page that you've selected. Hopefully you found this video helpful and straightforward. If you've got any questions, feel free to leave me a comment. Make sure that you subscribe for future videos. I'll be creating fresh content every weekday on WordPress, WooCommerce and Visual Composer to help you grow, maintain and develop your WordPress website. If you need any specific help around WordPress, WooCommerce or Visual Composer, please feel free to drop me an email at hello at squareinternet.co or you can connect to me on LinkedIn. If it's something I can help you with, I'll be back in touch with you ASAP. Thanks very much for watching. Cheers.